Hello, everyone. A lot of customers asking me about the accuracy of our faceting machine. So today we will do a test to show you what it will be. Let's introduce this faceting machine at first. The heart of this machine is a 350 watts brushless motor, which has the advantages of low noise, small vibration, and long service life. There is a voltage changeover switch in the machine, which can switch between 110 and 220 volt. Customers can choose the correct voltage according to their own national power supply standards. It means that our machine can be used anywhere in the world. It is very convenient. This is a silica splash pan, which is soft and not easy to deform. It can be taken out for cleaning after a period of use, just like the new one. It has a very long service life. Can be used for more than 10 years. A 6-inch or 8-inch grinding lapse can be installed in the basin, and the inner hole is half an inch, that is 12.7 millimeters. It is also a universal size in the world. Here is a control panel. Power switch. Spindle direction switch which can control the forward and reverse rotation of the grinding laps. Here is the speed control knob rotation speed range from 0 to 3000 RPM continuous. About this speed, we can do a test by the way. A question that we are concerned about. The noise level of machine. There is a noise meter in my hand. We can test the noise level of this machine under normal working conditions. Move it and start the machine. We will test the noise of the machine every 500 RPM. Now is 500 RPM. 1000. 1,500 2,000 2,500 3,000 RPM We can see the noise value is about 75 decibel at the speed of 3,000 RPM almost the same level of an electric fans working normally. It is relatively stable and quiet. The normal operating speed of the machine is between 1000 and 1500 RPM. Let's turn it back around 1500 RPM. Take a look at this 1500 RPM state. about 63 decibel. This is a relatively low level. Now let's introduce the key points of this high precision faceting machine. Faceting head and mast. There is Quill, Index Gear, besides this 96 Index Gear, we also have 64, 72, 80, and 120 for choose. Press here to turn the Quill freely, and then select a face to cut. This is Cheater Wheel, used for correcting radial angle misalignment. This is dial indicator resolution is 0.01 mm increments, used to observe the cutting depth of gemstones in real time. It can directly and accurately control the cutting depth of each surface. Keep the size of each surface consistent. It helps to reduce the number of repeated observation of grinding state during rough grinding, save to time cost. 
This is digital angle readout, minimum reading accuracy is 0.01 degrees. Used to control the facet angle between the quill and the grinding lap, hand wheel rotates upward, the angle becomes larger and the quill is lifted up. Hand wheel rotates downward, the angle becomes smaller and the quill is pressed down. Let's try it. Loosen the lock screw. Then the hand wheel can be quickly turned by this handle. When it close to the angle we want. And then adjust by hand wheel. Let it reach a more accurate degree. Let's go back to 45 degrees. Turn the hand wheel quickly. Use this hand wheel to make an accurate fine adjustment. This is the height micro adjustment knob, used to control the cutting and grinding allowance of gemstones. For example, we want to cut a 60 degree facet. Set the digital angle readout to 60.0 and adjust the faceting head so that the stone is slightly above the lap. Now the stone is slightly above the lap. Turning the micro adjustment to adjust the cutting allowance. It is displayed by the needle of dial indicator. Now is showing 0.02 millimeters cutting allowance. If you want it cutting a little more, you can adjust it a little more. Turn the micro adjustment knob counterclockwise. The cutting allowance can be accurately controlled by this micro adjustment knob. The above video simply introduces the parameters and functions of several parts of the machine. If you want to know more about this machine, you can visit our official website.